Hey everyone, welcome to this Shopify tutorial where we will be modifying a template or theme using the Liquid programming language in Shopify. So basically what I've done here is I've just gone and simplified our Shopify store by deleting a whole bunch of sections from the homepage so that we basically have our products in a collection here on the home page and then we can go and look at the various bit of code that actually generates this and we can discuss what it does and how it works and how you can actually find the code that creates this page so before we get started with that and just want to say if you haven't uh, subscribed to the channel yet uh, please do so now and hit that notification bell if you want to get notified of any Shopify tutorials development tutorials or whatever it is that you're interested in on my channel then please do that now so let's look at this quickly so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back into the Shopify dashboard so here we'll go over to online store we'll make sure we are on themes and basically we'll use the current theme which is debut which comes with Shopify so you can go play with this and then basically we'll go over to actions and we'll go over to edit code so now what I'm going to do to edit this code is I'm just going to maximize this and I'm going to change this to dark theme so that it's easier for you to read especially if you're watching this late at night and you just need something easier on the eyes. So here's the dark theme and that's how you can get into it if you are coding late at night and need to just go over to the dark theme just to save your eyes. So basically what we need to do now is track down this page or this section or collection or whatever you wanna call it. And um, basically what we'll do is we'll just take this as a hint. So we know it's a collection. So the first thing we can do is we can go into templates and we can look for collection. So we find collection over here and we've got this comment. So basically comments will be ignored. And what I'm going to show you now is just this percentages. They basically mean that that's code that's being executed in the liquid language. So for example, you'll see something like this. If name is equal to one two three for example and percentage then do a div one two three like this and then you'll have an else and basically an else will just mean that anything besides name being one two three do something else don't know who you are so that's basically how this works and then you'll close off an if statement with end if like this. So the liquid language basically executes everything that's within basically these handlebars or curly braces with a percentage and then there's different constructs, there's different things you can do. For example, you can do a loop. So you could do four products or product in collection dot products and basically that will just get all the products within a collection and loop over them and you could do stuff with it so you could put a percentage and then basically you could go and you could make a list in html and you could then go and just do something like this so when you want to print something out you use double curly braces or double handlebars and then you could just simply say product dot title title like that and it'll print out the title of your product so i'm just showing you this before we actually jump into this collection template because it is going to be quite long and it is going to be quite tricky to read and i just wanted you to know about the syntax before we get there so basically now we need to track down this collection template and basically it's a section so it's broken up like this so if you minimize this folder you'll see sections and then you can go over and find collection template so that's what that section uh, block is related to so now you'll see it's quite long there's a lot of code in here a lot of html lots of little things like this which uh, do things so basically this uh, 
just to show you this little pipe over here basically goes and takes the data that you have on the left and you can perform different operations on it like for example here you've got split so you can split it between hrefs and then you can choose the last element and then you can split it by single quotes and then you can take the first element and so on and so on and so on so you can basically append functions and functions and functions to data you pass in on the side and basically assign over here will assign this variable to that value and then it will apply these different operations here again we've got something called an if well an if statement and basically it's just checking does the current tags contain the tag and basically if that's true it will do this otherwise it will basically just uh, okay there is no else so it won't do anything else or just do this uh, in any case then we've got include which will include an icon chevron down where you find that is uh, let me just see quickly so basically in snippets and you'll see icon chevron down that's where includes come from and you can just grab basically build anything in here kind of as like little widgets or whatever and you can include them into your templates and here we're doing some looping so we're basically looking for options within a collection so if you've looked at uh, some of my other tutorials you'll know what options are so basically that's just looping over and doing some options here we're doing some counting so you'll see collection dot products count so just getting the count of number of products in our current collection we're assigning some variables basically this uh, little block of code is basically figuring out the size of our grid depending on how many products etc is available in this collection and here we basically have a thing that says if the product count is more than zero then we can do a grid view item or a grid basically to display our products as this collection the big thing i want to show you here is that we want to now find ways to modify this so the first thing we'll look for is well what we can see logically here is that we are looping over some products in a collection based on the different types of logic we have in here so we're going to be looking for something which is actually looping over product so what i'm going to do is i'm going to press ctrl f and then i'm going to look for something which says product in and basically we'll see here here's a loop that says product in collection dot products and what it does is it includes a product card list each time so okay great let's keep going and again we see here is product card grid and previously is product card list so what we want to do now is try and track down this very exact piece of code which is generating this so i think it's product card grid so let's play around with that so to get there we need to go into snippets and we need to look for product card grid so now what we can do is we can just look at this so this is a simplified version of displaying a product basically and let's just modify this and see if we can actually change what's happening here so i'm going to look for something that looks like a title so maybe just do Control f title in here and we have the title is yes, product title and i'm going to try and modify the product title by just adding a bunch of ones so let's save that and let's refresh this page and now you'll see we've added a bunch of ones to our title so that's how you can modify that maybe what we want to do now is we want to instead of doing this we want to add the product price so we could add something like this and we could say product dot i think it's price let's see if it is that if it is not that then we'll just quickly look at other reference uh, options okay so it is basically the price but it doesn't have the actual decimals so yeah that's something you can apply with a formatting 
So let's look at what that formatting is. So you can learn a lot from these templates and actually take some of that logic and reuse it. So if we look at um, what we want to actually do is look at this product price listing because that's basically displaying the product price listing for us. So again, because it's an include, we'll go into the um, snippets folder and we'll go and just look at this product price listing. So now we'll search for price because we want to try and find how the other ones are also being uh, basically um, converted into the decimal value. So here you'll see, here's a modifier uh, on the price. So they've got basically this money price over here. And then we can go and apply that. So let's see what else is here. Let's have a look. There's money price, money price, lowest price. Okay. Look at compare at price. So compare at price is basically, let me show you what that is. It's basically this from uh, $19.99 and that's the compare price over there, $24.99. So it's basically like a discount um, sort of sale sort of thing that you add to your code. All right, so now what we want to do is just look at this. So basically, if you want to get money, you'll just do this operator. So let's do that operator to this that we added and then we'll see what it does. So just add money in there and save. Let's refresh. And now you'll see it's basically converted it to currency instead of cents. So it's these sort of things you can do uh, quite easily. You can play around with all these other little liquid files and you can figure out all sorts of things just by grabbing some of these operators and basically if you know that this is an operator which you can then apply um, some transformations to your data and you basically know that you can print out data with these handlebars and you can do conditions and run code with this uh, handlebar percentage syntax then you are quickly on your way to being able to modify your own templates building your own templates, building your own types of pages that work in their own unique ways uh, with a little bit of HTML skills, a little bit of CSS skills, you'll be able to very quickly modify your themes. So guys, that's basically the introductory tutorial to Liquid. There will be more advanced tutorials where we'll actually build actual pages and different sections and assets, etc. But I think for now, this has been a good introduction for liquid using shopify for you and i hope you liked this tutorial if you liked it please do like below it does help support the channel and if you have any questions for me then please leave them in the comments thanks again for watching and i'll see you in the next video